Yeah, sure. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Uh, so, Sumit, I was asking, uh, I, I totally concur with what you said on this point that we create our own reality. Mm -hmm. But uh, there are certain situations where people find themselves in, you know, difficult, very difficult situations which they did not call for. Um, mm -hmm. People meet with accidents, uh, you know, they mm -hmm. get hurt, physically hurt, abused. Mm -hmm. How would you, how would you relate this there? That we create our own reality or people create their own reality. Okay, so uh, let me... Uh take it further from your experience, from your example. So like you said, the people are being physically abused, right? So nobody in this world can do a physical abuse without my permission. Because if somebody is doing that, because it takes mm -hmm. time for people to get into that kind of situation, right? So any mm -hmm. random guy will not come to me and start beating. There is a reason no. behind that. That's exactly my question. Uh -huh. I'm not talking about domestic violence or I'm not uh -huh. talking about abuse where I know the person. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about those situations. I'm talking about situations like, um, for instance, some time back we were at a marketplace, mm -hmm. okay, uh, and there this guy was there, and some some two three guys came. I do not know what the matter, what the issue was, but mm -hmm. they seemed complete strangers. That one single guy and that group of people, mm -hmm. they uh, those guys came and started bashing him up. So he mm -hmm. would not have uh, created that, right? Mm -hmm. Because from their talk, he was asking, aap kaun ho and aap mujhe kyun maar rahe ho? and all those things. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking about those situations, okay. those uncalled for situations. Okay, see, uh, there are things which you have no control over, right? There are right. situations right. in which you are unable to control your, uh, like you can't start to control certain situations, right? right. See, right. when you talk about these kinds of situations, how you respond to that situation is something in, in your control. So you need to find out what is the best way out to get out of that situation, right? So how you respond to that is something that you can easily control, right? So at times, uh, at times, see again, uh, there are situations like uh, we do not call them poor. Uh, the person got beaten by somebody. What could, what or what should have been his response in that situation? All right. Sorry, uh, I, I lost you. I lost you. Right. Can, can you hear me now? Please okay. go. So uh, the person was uh, was being beaten by by complete strangers, right? So mm -hmm. what should have been his response? This is something that that you are talking about, right? No, not his response. Uh -huh. uh, see, the statement was that we create our own reality, Absolutely. or people create our own reality. Mm -hmm. So my question here was, what would that person have done to create this reality, this scenario? Okay. And he's not the only one. There are so many people who find themselves in such situations. Mm -hmm. right? Now, for example, let's take another example. Uh, mm -hmm. But the COVID scenario, the mm -hmm. doctors, the nurses, they got spat at, they got beaten and you know, uh, they got, uh, uh, they, they had to bear all inhuman treatment by uh, those guys. Mm -hmm. You're aware of that news. So what mm -hmm. did those doctors or nurses do to create that reality? That is my question here. Okay, 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 wonderful. See, uh, it's a bit controversial to talk about this thing now, right? I, okay. I uh, being on a like, uh, I'm I'm with so many people right now, so my my views can be a little controversial, and this is going to be uh, on YouTube as well. So I do not want to get okay. into any kind of controversies here, but yes, okay. here. Okay. See, if you have. Uh, again, I'm not. Uh, I'm not saying that you should run away from uh, the responsibilities that you have been given, right? Or you have taken. Not you have been right. given. You have. You have taken, right? right. So right. Uh, I'm not saying that. Yes, at this point of time, maintaining a distance from such people is something mm -hmm. which is in our control, right? Uh, right? The protective measure could have been informing uh, the authorities right in the beginning, right after the first right. inc incident, that right. this is what the, these people are doing. Right? right and right. till the time and this something which was in their control which was in their control was i am not going to do any kind of medical checkup or i'm not going to do any kind of treatment with these guys until and unless i have some protection with me right, right. right. we we did not do that mm -hmm. right we did not do that we actually waited for the authorities to come before uh, uh, and before that we we started the treatment this was something mm -hmm. which was in our control. Right. If people right. are not willing to cooperate with you, I'm sorry, I'm not there. 
right? Okay. So okay. let the cops come in. Let the let, let's let's have uh, a proper uh, backup with us, and then we mm -hmm. can uh, do the treatment. Because uh, here in this point, right? These these doctors actually created it. I'm not blaming them. To be very honest, I'm not blaming. No, them. we are not. We are not. I'm not blaming. Blame, huh, blame, I'm not blame, blaming them. Right. They, they were we doing understand. their job. Right. Uh, right. The, the 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 thing that they should have done here was they should have called the cops right there, and they should have right. told everybody very clearly. I'm not going mm -hmm. to treat any patient before or till the time I do not have any kind of security. Right. So uh, give me the security, then I'm, then only I'm going to treat them. That could have been the protective measure. They didn't ask for it, or uh, or they were not given that. I'm not saying they did not ask for it, though they they, they did. But they were not mm -hmm. given that. So uh, they should have avoided that kind of situation because they knew that whenever they're there, whenever they, they are going to enter in that room, mm -hmm. that thing is going to happen again. So this was something which I yes I am I'm, I'm bound to say that the doctors created irrespective of the respect that I have for them, right? So doctors are doing a wonderful job. Uh, they should have taken this step before everything happened, right? So this is something that I was not, I was not trying, I, I meant, right? So that's how we create our own reality. So Pakistan is attacking attacking India, right? So yeah. one, one, one example, Pakistan is attacking India. We are allowing them uh, to do that. What we are doing, we are just stopping them. Mm -hmm. We are stopping them. We are not protecting them. We were just stopping them. Okay, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. We have been sending reminders. We have been uh, doing a lot of uh, talks with them uh, in, in U, UN meetings and all that. But we are asking them not to do that and they are actually doing it. So this is something that we, we uh, allowed them to do with us. Right? Right. So right. we create our own reality. Uh, let me share my screen okay. once again. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I hope I've answered your question. Yes, you have, Sumit. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. You're most welcome. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, People relay the... Uh, I, I can hear somebody speaking. Yeah, Sumit Shruti here. So consider yes. a scenario in a public place. Uh, some random person star opens fire. He starts shooting randomly at people. And those innocent people who are killed, how can we say that they have created their own reality? Okay. Okay. So <clears throat> they have created their own reality. Okay. See, this was something that was allowed to happen. Right. So when you talk about such incidents, uh, any random guy, any random guy, you and I, we, we cannot go in the market with uh, a pistol in our hand and start firing. Right. There must be a history behind it. Right. So, in, if you talk about certain things, people or the police or the officials did not take the right or did not uh, make the right measures, right? Did not do the right thing right in the beginning. That's why that thing occurred. So, it's quite similar to the point that we discussed in the beginning that we create that everything that happens to us, we either create it or allow it. We allowed that thing to happen because had, had we put them behind the bars, that thing would have not happened. So somewhere down the line, the other people let that thing to become the reality for others, right? My reality, my, I created that reality. I, I can simply take the responsibility. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have been there, right? I shouldn't have been uh, there in the market at that point of time. Had I not been there, the things would have not happened or I would have not created that kind of reality, right? These things uh, sound a little uh, hypothetical. I understand that. But the fact is we have to take the responsibility for everything. Right, because till the time I do not take the responsibility, if somebody comes up to me and starts beating, there must be something that I have done, or if even if I have not done, uh, I allow I waited for that person because I could see that person coming to me with that kind of intention. I did not turn away from that. Uh, so, uh, right. so don't we have some exceptional to this uh, theory that we create reality? Like these mishaps are not in our control, right? It mm -hmm. might be in somebody else's control, but the person, the, I'm talking about those and also person who were killed. So it was mm -hmm. not in their control. They Absolutely. did not have that. They could not foresee the future that this is going to happen at the marketplace Absolutely. and I should. Absolutely. They could not see that. At the same right. time, at the same time, right? See, we are talking about uh, these things in general, 
right? At the same time, when you talk about this thing, this principle comes, we either create or allow, right? So this thing was allowed or this thing was created. It was both created and, and allowed. If not by me, then by somebody else, right? And I became a victim of that. This is something that I have no control over. The only thing that I have control over is, is my response. How I uh, respond to that particular situation or whether I should run away from there, whether I should hide myself, whether I should simply uh, be like a superhero and act, act like a superhero and stand in front of those wounds and ask them to beat me or hit me or, or shoot me. Right, so the, these are the things that we can easily do. Though those, see, uh, this is something which is which is created by others, not by us. We have to bear the consequence. The only thing that we can control over is we can control the responses that we have to make. Right. All right. Yeah. All right. So uh, the next thing that we have, we have only ten minutes left. So the next thing that we have is delay action. Is it because of lack of motivation or is it because of lack of fear? What do you think? Is it because of lack of motivation or fear? What do you think? Uh, let me just go to the chat. It can be either of it. It can be either of it, right? Yeah, it can be either I of it. I think it's just fear. It can be fear, okay. Well, I feel they are, they are interlinked to, to some extent. Okay. Okay. See, when you talk about most of the people, I was just going through the chat box. Your wonderful explanation by Paul, uh, Paul Mohanty, that uh, yes, one should one should uh, go into the chat box and read that because we are running short of time. So motivation is so. Motivation is not enough to overcome fear. Okay. See, uh, both of the, both the things are, are there. When you talk about delaying action, most of the people, I'm not saying all, most of the people have the fear in their mind. They do not see the bright future. They do not see themselves succeeding that. They do not see themselves completing that task and with the best of their productivity, with the best of their efforts. Right, so always remember, I'm not saying that this is with all, this is with most of the people. People have got a lot of motivation. We have a lot of motivation, right? The only thing that we lack and we have a lot of fear and that fear stops us from doing things. You must have seen people, you must have heard people saying, do you think I'll be successful? I need your thoughts on that. When you start with a question in your mind, you will always end with a question in your mind. So always remember, if you have a question, if you start with a question in your mind, if, that means that question itself talks about the fear. What do you think? When you say, what do you think? That means I have a fear in my mind that I'll, I will not be able to succeed. So most of the people do not succeed, succeed because they have a lack of, they, they have a real fear in their mind. They do not see themselves completing that task. They do not see themselves achieving that milestone. They do not see themselves achieving heights, right? So always remember, motivation will be there. If you are able to work on the fear that you have in your mind, then everything will be sorted. So make sure that you work on the fear. Motivation is something that will keep you going. Fear will keep you pulling, pulling back, right? So always remember this. Lack of fear is something that brings you down. Motivation, we, we, we have the motivation, that's why we have started it, right? We had the motivation and we have the motivation, that's why we are working on that. Why we are unable to work on it completely is because we have a fear in mind, right? Okay, now the next point is the beliefs. Like I discussed earlier, your brain doesn't know what's real or what's unreal. We give it a meaning. Situations are meaningless. We give them the meaning and you are more than what you think you are. Here, whether you talk about or whether you see yourself as a wonderful human being or whether you see yourself as not so wonderful human being, you are not just that. You are more than what you think you are. 
if I think that I'm a wonderful human, human being, I'm not just wonderful, I'm more than wonderful. So I have, the, I have those things, I have those ideas, I've got feelings, I've, I've, I've got all the things which make me more wonderful. I'm not just a wonderful human being. On the other hand, oppositely, if I say that I, I think I'm, I'm a bad guy, I'm not just a bad, bad guy. I am more than that. I may be worse or I may be worst, right? So I am, I am more than what I think I am. You are more than what you think you are. So always think good about yourself. The success growth mindset principle says always think good about yourself because if you do not think good about yourself, things will not work. And whatever that you think about yourself, you're more than that. Be it positive, be it negative. And yes, like I said in the beginning, I'll talk about positive and negative as well. Something, what do we mean by positive here? And what do we mean by negative here? Something that I like, something that I wished for. If I'm able to achieve that, if I'm able to get the outcome according to that, that's the positive thing. Something I did not like, something I did not expect. If I'm unable, to, if something I did not like, something I did not expect, if that thing happens to me, that's negative. Right. So one thing can be positive and one thing, the same thing can be negative. So if you uh, look at the current scenario, the most negative word of 2020 is positive. 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 Absolutely. So if, if that thing, if that word is there in your, in your profile, positive, then it's done right so so one thing can be positive and the same the one thing which is positive can be negative for us so it depends upon the way we look at it. yes this uh, henry ford uh, henry ford's quote where whether you think you can or you think you cannot you're quite absolutely right uh yes harpreet uh, at times it's the opposite that if you don't have the fear of achieving the deadline uh will never get the motivation to achieve it see uh yes there has to be some anxiety a little bit of anxiety is required, right? Because if you do not have an anxiety, so fear has, has got a higher level, right? So if you have a little anxiety uh, in your mind as to uh, finishing the work on time, meeting the deadlines, yes, it will help you achieve your goal. And on the other hand, if this thing changes into fear, then there will be a problem. Fear says, how will I do that? Will I be able to finish it on time? I don't think I'll be able to do it on time. Who can help me with this and that? So fear is a negative term, whereas anxiety up, up to an extent, I do not say completely, up to an extent is a positive term. It is required at, it is required at times because if there is no anxiety, we'll not, or we may not, I will not say we will not, we may not be able to give our 100%. So as and when we start any kind of new session, yes, we should have some anxiety and that anxiety should not take or should not become a fear. So if I have a fear of taking a session, then I might not be able to do a good job. And on the other hand, if I'm a little anxious about how the session will go, that 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 anxiety will give me a lot of motivation as well as a lot of uh, time, a lot of scope for preparing for the session. Right? Okay. Uh, yes. People don't do so. It's yeah, so I'll not talk about that point because this is something that uh, we have we have been uh, doing in our training sessions and all that. So uh, I'm moving to point number four, which says uh, energy flows where our attention goes. So this is one of the principles that I really like. Right? Energy flows where our attention goes. Wherever your attention goes, your energy starts flowing in that direction. Let's take one example. Let's say you want to buy a new car. Of uh, Let's say you want to buy uh, a Jaguar, right? You want to buy a Jaguar and you have decided that after a month or after two months, I will buy a Jaguar and you have decided a model. And since you have decided a model since you, and you have decided uh, the brand as well. So whenever you will be moving out on the road, you will notice that there are a lot of Jaguar cars around you. You'll get to see a lot of Jaguars. You'll see such, you'll see that model. You will see that car almost everywhere you go because it's not because you, it's a hallucination. No, it is something that says your attention is going in that direction. Therefore, your energy is flowing in that direction. Your, your, your mind is flowing the energy 
or your mind is working upon finding the available jaguars in your area near you right so your energy flows where your attention is always remember if you want the energy to flow in the right direction make sure that your attention is also in the right direction right so always remember this so if you think that the person if your attention is towards the positive thing you will have a lot of positive thing you'll have a lot of energy focusing and producing positive results for you like i said before there are no there are no failures only learning right so i think we uh, are done for the session we are uh, have talked about a lot of success principles success growth mindset principles so if you have any questions in mind please feel free to write them in the chat box and uh, let me open the chat box so that i can have a look i'm unable to see the chat box okay so if you have any questions please feel free to ask uh, i would request dr swati to please unmute uh, okay uh, Participants, if you have any questions, you can raise hand. You can unmute and ask one by one. Um, in between, yes. before you start, I have a question to me. <laughs> so, uh, as you said, that energy yes, uh, it's, you know, it's related to attention. When we say that when we have uh, attention, it flows in some direction, right? Uh, so, uh, absolutely. Just uh, addition, like you know, isn't it increase the observation of that particular thing? For example, if we are taking an example of car or anything which I want mm -hmm. to buy, so automatically my attention or maybe observation for that particular thing increases, and that's why I'm noticing that it is more on the road or absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, if uh, someone is carrying it, if it is a mobile, so I'll observe that everyone who is carrying a mobile, my observation is for that particular mobile only because I am thinking about that particular brand or that particular model. Uh, so that's what. Yeah, you, absolutely. You because uh, uh, yeah, please, please. Yeah, because uh, see, uh, as and when you have an attention to something, it, it sends a signal to your mind. Right, so I'm a, I'm a trainer of subconscious mind as well. So it sends a signal to your mind, and your mind starts, you know, creating that kind of energy that works in that direction. Right, so the mind starts working in that direction. Let me give you one more example. Let's say uh, you meet somebody uh, five years ago, and uh, you are you suddenly you have suddenly forgotten the person's name, right? And you just recall as to what the name was, what the name was. You keep on thinking about it, and you are unable to recall that person's name. And you you start get, getting back to your normal routine, right? It is you who gets back to your normal routine. Your mind starts working in that direction, and suddenly, maybe after two days, or after two hours, or three hours, or three days, you suddenly recall the person's name and you say, "Oh my God, yes, this was the name of that person." How do you recall that? Your mind created that kind of energy to work in that particular direction to look for the name. Right, so that's how it works. So if you want to buy something new, uh, something uh, that you have been wishing for, and you have uh, decided the model and everything, your mind gets the energy. Your mind starts flowing the energy in that direction and gives you the all possible things which are quite similar to that, and says, "Oh yeah, I I, I see that." Right. We have two okay, which are the five words uh, you should? Okay. Yes. Uh, Raju, please ask you. Uh, can we extend the session for five more minutes, if possible, Dr. Swati? We can. We can. Because uh, no if they have uh, the last question, okay, there are yes. one or two. So, okay, okay. Which are the five words? So I do not see the user's name. I can see only one plus seven. Okay. So uh, the five words. Uh, the, the first one that we have already uh, talked about. Uh, the next word, which which uh, usually I do not use. I do not. Uh, Say five. I say four uh, because I do not know uh, the word that the extra word that uh, Dr. Ravi uses. So I'll be talking about the words that I talk about in my training session. Uh, number one is if uh, I do not say you have to delete this word. You have to be very careful while using these words. When you say if, if always creates an option in your mind, right? So whenever you talk about the word if. Make sure that you're giving the choices, right? So if automatically creates a choice in the mind of the other person, if I finish my work on time, then the person waits for the other statement, and what will happen? Okay, Prafulji. 
so when we say uh, if if always creates more options so use it only when you want to give options alternatives to people this is one the other word that almost kills your communication i and i do not say that you have to use it you have to ignore it completely you have to be very careful when you use this particular word and that word is b u t but when you say but and you must have you know seen observed heard people saying this or using statements like you know what uh, you are a wonderful human being but you need to be on time especially with the managers right you need you are a wonderful human being but you need to be on time you are a wonderful human being but you need to be little calm as in when you use and join these two different sentences with but it makes no sense it makes no meaning because whatever that you speak before but gets deleted gets a but always negates the first statement and it emphasizes on the second one so when you say uh, you are a wonderful human being but you need to be on time means you need to be on time you're not a wonderful human being right so you have to be very careful as in when uh, your wife cooks food for you and makes you and uh, you know offers you the food and uh, asks the feedback and you and she asks you how is the food and if you are a brave uh, husband then you can say yeah, you know the food is delicious but and the moment you use but you're gone right because people are not willing or they're not always ready i have not said willing they're not always ready to get the feedback no matter how how, for, how they force you how much they force you to give you the feedback so as and when you use but it always negates on the first statement and it emphasizes on the second one so how to use it now how to use it you can replace this word with a, a three letter word which is and so you can say yes you are a wonderful human being and being on time will make you even more wonderful you are a wonderful human being and being on time will make you even more wonderful you are a wonderful human being and being a little more patient will make you even more wonderful the food is really delicious and adding a little more uh, black pepper salt or whatever that you want them to add adding that uh, and adding that particular thing will make the dish even more delicious when you say even more delicious it gives a feeling to the person that yes it is already delicious All right so always remember so this is the word and before i talk about uh, the next word uh, i would like to make a request to everyone uh, the request is uh, as and when uh, while you are listening to me and i'm speaking do not think about a blue panther do not think about a blue panther when i said do not think about a blue panther most of you probably had an image of a blue panther in your mind because people tend to do what they are asked not to do right so avoid using don't in your communication i do not say don't use don't i say avoid using don't why because there is a there is a reason behind that there is a reason and the reason is your unconscious mind our unconscious mind does not process negatives when you say don't slam the door do not don't this particular word does not have any picture you can't create a picture of don't in your mind you can create a picture of other words you can create what you can do is you can create the picture of slam the door so what the people do the, the mind does not process in negatives the mind processes in the form of positives right so when you say don't slam the door it says slam the door you must have noticed this thing uh, in the city as well do not litter here and that place is the dirtiest place in the this is the place where people keep on throwing a lot of garbage right so you have to be very careful about uh, giving the instructions and as and when you uh, yes you can use it you can use it uh, and when you use it you have to be very careful uh, there is something called reverse psychology people use it a lot as and when they want they actually want you to do that uh, for example you go to uh, a shop you, you you go to a uh, any kind of boutique or any kind of uh, garment shop and uh, there is a salesman who says ma'am uh, please uh, ma'am this is something which is uh, a new version or new edition or new a new design something kind of that shows you and he say no it's it's out of my budget i can't buy it and he says ma'am don't buy it just have a look 
just have a look ma'am don't buy and while he demonstrates that particular design to you he keeps on installing that thing in your mind don't buy don't buy don't buy and when, when he's done with his presentation you end up buying that because your mind says now it's time for you to buy that thing okay so this is something that we have to be very careful about and uh, use your negatives into the positives of oh, yes yes so should you have any uh, questions you can always uh, get in touch with me uh, i am uh, typing my uh, yes you have my number i believe uh, it's there in the uh, group uh, trainers club i'll and you can take one question right now i think uh, siddha raju is waiting okay. this long so uh, quickly you yes, can please, just please. answer one Siddha Raju, please ask your question. You raise your hand twice. Siddha Raju, am I audible? Shaila, you want to ask? Please go ahead. Yes, Siddha Raju. Ah, uh, thanks, Swati. Um, Sumit, seven beliefs on the screen. We no. can just see five. So, what are the other? Two? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I skipped them uh, because uh, we were running a little short of time. So the purpose is stronger than the outcome. That says purpose. Purpose has to be stronger. Your purpose has to be stronger because if you have a, a weaker purpose, you'll not be able to get the desired outcome. Because right. if you keep on focusing on the outcome, mm -hmm. be it anybody in this world, whether it's Albert Einstein, Thomas Alva Edison, Graham Bell, James Watt, any any great invention, all mm -hmm. those people, all those scientists believed in or had a stronger purpose they never focused on the outcome they always focused on the purpose that they had in their mind before inventing that thing that's why they were super successful if you even if you get any kind of setback even if you see any kind of i would not say failure even if you do not get the desired outcome make sure that you are very clear about the purpose that you had as to why you started before you quit make sure right. yes why did right. we start so uh, whatever happens takes the take responsibility yes uh, whatever that is happening with me it is my responsibility i am responsible for everything all the results that i'm produce producing i'm being a little uh, faster here because we are running short of time so yeah. we have to take the responsibility for everything that happens to us responsibility always remember the key points responsibility is something that can never be given it is always taken you can't give responsibility to people they can always take it right so with this positive note i would like to thank everybody present here who attended this session thank you dr swati thank you everyone thank you deepa for this wonderful session and i really really liked it Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Sumi. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was a wonderful session. Thank you, thank you. Everyone. We all enjoyed the lot. Beautiful lesson. Thank you, thank so you, Sumi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you in the future. Thank you. Sure. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Take care, everyone. Thank you thank for you. joining. Bye. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Sachi, ma'am. Bye, Joy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Mati and Sumit.